the idea of being a hotelier is really about, as you said, about being having pride. Yeah. And when people have pride in your property, they take care of it. They want to care for it. They want to make it better. One of the transformation projects I worked on a couple of years ago was transforming a five-star property into a boutique hotel. Yeah. I spent a lot of time on property, walking around, getting to know the people. Yeah. Uh, and the one thing that really struck me was their pride in the word hotelier. Yes. Whether it be from uh, housekeeping all the way up to GM level, uh, they really, they really uh, had, a, had a very strong sense of what that word meant to them. Uh, can you tell me a bit more about that loyalty that sits in the hoteliers that you work with? I think that's it. I mean, you know, I was I was saying to somebody earlier, you know, we have we have 11 employees this year reaching 45 years of service with us, <coughs> and our longest term employee is 53 years now, and so we have a lot of tenure and a lot of loyalty to the brand, and and it's about understanding and and the people that reach that loyalty, they're not leaders, they're they're people that are cleaning the rooms, they're people that are washing the dishes, they're people that are you know checking the guests in. Um, concierge teams, things along those lines. And for them, uh, the idea of being a hotelier is really about, as you said, about being having pride. Yeah. And when people have pride in your property, they take care of it. They want to care for it. They want to make it better. And um, they get quite upset when they see us doing things wrong. Yeah. And so, and I think it is really important to develop a culture where um, people, the employees are not afraid to tell you that you're screwing up as well yeah. as the leadership team because the biggest change in hotels is always at the leadership level. Mm -hmm. It's not actually the line base employees. That may turn, but the reality is they're doing the same job day in and day out, hopefully with the flair and the panache that you want them to. The biggest change comes by the leadership team. And so if they come in and that we get that wrong, um, we have a big problem to fix. At Bridge, we often talk about how we connect people to the vision, to commitment statements like this, and also to the vision of the business. Now, I know you have, you have quite an interesting vision. Uh, one more. One more, here we go. Yeah. yeah, the vision. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? Because I love the simplicity of it. Uh, and the ease that I have in understanding what it means to me. But yeah. can you tell me a bit means to the I team mean, the yourself? vision is about being aspirational, right? The whole idea of the vision is something that you can reach, but you never quite reach it, right? right? And that's what we wanted with this, this whole idea. You know, we wanted it to speak to, of course, our guests, to our employees, and of course, all of our you know, let's say loyal guests, or and our our stakeholders as well. Whether it be our ownership, whether it be the 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 leadership in the properties, we went with something quite simple because, of course, we have 63 nationalities across our our collection and the different properties. So it needed to be something that was easily understood, yeah. easily not about being remembered, but the presence behind it is what we want to have remembered, and we purposely chose these words and there was a lot of wordsmithing that went into it but the idea of something that's treasured is something that you truly care for and you want to protect it yeah. and the whole idea of that you know guests when guests tell you that you do a bad job this is not really about the job that you've done that's bad they're telling you that I have an expectation and because of who you are because of your legendary status you're not delivering on it and if you take guest feedback from that perspective versus oh, I've just given you bad service. They're telling you because they want to feel treasured, right? They want to protect it. And for employees about being cherished is then they genuinely care. So they get hurt when, you know, they see it damaged, when it gets vandalized, when it, uh, um, something doesn't go right, you know, when their uniform looks tattered and torn because they really want to care for what they're doing. And of course, being celebrated worldwide is, is just that. And again, when you're a small company, that is really important because the, com the competitors we deal with is is unbelievable. You know, 14 new hotel brands get started every single year. And so the sheer amount of competition and the sheer amount of people that want your people and of course want your guests um, constantly means that you have to really stay on point.